months and yeah it was just kind of a, a trip for me to go yeah. back one that I had kind of circled since I had been back you know between the Vikings and this one it was it was cool you know you've obviously been here for a little bit while but got a late start just how has your progress gone the last month or so good you know picking up the offense and good where's your comfort level yeah I mean I'm I'm ready whenever they need me so I'm uh I feel like I've got a good handle on the offense uh haven't been able to run the plays obviously just because I've you know my job right now is to be the backup so I'm just uh ready to go whenever they call on me and uh Right now, I'm running the scout team. Could so. they call on you Sunday, possibly? I don't know. No idea. That's kind of uh, when you guys find out, I'm sure I'll find out <laughs> at the same time. So I'm just uh, waiting. What would that opportunity mean for you, though? You know, a lot. Really? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've waited three years for an opportunity. I've, I feel like I've gone out there in the preseason and put my best foot forward in every single game that I've been in for three years. And um, you know, haven't quite gotten that opportunity yet. Um, but just trying to trying to keep the faith and uh, you know, just know that something good's going to happen down the line if I keep you know doing what I'm doing. Is that frustrating? Because uh, I talked to the folks in Minnesota and they said we couldn't believe he wasn't on this team the way he played. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I, I kind of understand that you know being an undrafted quarterback, uh, quarterbacks are typically drafted to be the face of the franchise. There's not many guys, you know, like Tony Romo and the Kurt Warners walking around, you know, for good reason. So, um, you know, I don't think that it's a lack of talent. I just think that, you know, guys are drafted and, you know, that's kind of when you put some draft capital into somebody, you kind of have to, they got to play. Does so. your belief that you could be one of those guys is that what keeps you going? Oh, I know I can be. Yeah, I, I know I can be a starter in this league. I've nothing so far in this league has told me that I can't be. So, I, uh, like I said, I'm just waiting for an opportunity. So whenever that comes, I'm, uh, I'm going to try to be ready. So I, I know that, you know, I've only been here for four weeks or, you know, whatever it's been. But and it's, it's probably not the most ideal situation, you know, in terms of, like, playbook and not having really run the, the offense. Um, but I, I love the coaching staff, love the players, love my teammates so far. Um, I've had a really good experience. Um, so I'm... I'm ready, ready whenever they call on me. That's so. a strong statement to say you, you know you can be a starter in this league. What yeah. gives you that confidence? Um, you know, everybody's been doubting me my, my whole life, you know, and at no point has have they been right, you know. I've, uh, you know, they told me in high school that I couldn't play quarterback, and I transferred and went and played somewhere else and got a college scholarship. And then they told me I couldn't play quarterback there, so I played receiver and ended up starting games there for four years. And... Uh, you know, they told me I couldn't move back to quarterback, and I did that and got a chance in the NFL. And the Broncos told me that I couldn't play for them and went out and played well in the preseason after Chad Kelly and Paxton Lynch got hurt. And you know, I've just really been doing it ever since. So, you know, I'm kind of a guy that's fueled off of people telling me that I can't do something. So, you know, I've, I've just got to, I, th I think more than anything as a quarterback, you're, you're going to fail in this league a lot. You know, it, it's a hard league. You know, there's not many people that can do it. And, you know, having an unwavering belief in yourself, no matter what, is what sets guys apart. So, you know, whether I go out there my first time and I tear it up or I, I don't, I'm going to come back the next week and believe that I can do it just because that's the type of person I am. And I've always believed that that's the type of person it takes to be successful in anything is you can't listen to what other people are saying because you're always going to have your guys that doubt you and tell you can't do something. So, what is your? Did they give you an indication of beyond this year? Did yeah. they want you here for the offseason and things like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm signed for two years, so, so I'm you, signed through next year. Yep, so I signed a two-year deal uh, a, a month ago or whatever it was, so I'll be here next year as well. What do you so. think is your strength as a quarterback? Is it mobility, your ability to read defense, your arm? We, I haven't looked, seen a lot of your films. Yeah, um, no, I, I think that it is mobility a little bit. Um, I think that you know I, I thrive making plays outside of the pocket. Um, I also think I'm, I'm good within the pocket, and you know, I. I would say that my weakness right now is probably not knowing the playbook as well as these other three guys just because I haven't been here. Um, but, you know, I, I think being a guy that kind of just goes out there and understands defenses as a whole and kind of sees the field well that you know, I'm able to make the throws. And um, not, like I said, I, I believe in myself to be able to make any throw on the field. So, Did playing receiver help you at all? In yeah, I would say so. Just uh, from the standpoint that, like, I kind of know where I wanted the ball in certain situations. and. You know, when I wanted a quarterback to lead me and when I wanted him to stop me so I didn't get blown up and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, seeing the other side of things, I, I really firmly believe that that helped me a lot. You got so. your four, 
You got your four weeks ago, a little instability going on in the position. What's your relationship with Stafford been like? Any words of encouragement or anything? Like yeah, that? absolutely. He's he's a great guy. I mean, he's honestly, he's probably the smartest football mind that I've ever been around. And I, he's a stud. I mean, he's really cool to be in a room with and um, super, super positive. I mean, I know he's been going through a lot in his own life, um, but has just remained so positive and such a great teammate. And he's been so accepting to me. And you know, I really look up to him, you know, only having been here for four weeks, he's a role model for me and has been for a long time. So he's a, a great guy and happy to call him a teammate and a friend now. Everybody telling you that you're going to fail. Are you one of these guys who keeps like all your rejection letters from college? Oh, yeah. All the negative clippings and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. I've got some got some uh, things from high school, from college, got got a couple things from some reporters back in Minnesota that I keep taped up on a mirror. So those guys are what keep me going for sure. I'm, I'm not a I told, told you so kind of guy, but I definitely think about it. So. What was the message from the coaching staff today about how things went for the offense yesterday for the guys? Uh, You're saying for our meeting today? Yeah. Uh, we haven't met today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah, we're meeting here in a little bit. So I uh, haven't gotten a message or anything um, from them today. But yesterday, you know, obviously our main message is that losing isn't acceptable, and everybody knows that. You know, we want to go out there and put our best, uh, our best on the field every single time that we go out there and. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get it done yesterday, but, um, you know, I know everybody in here, we work really hard every single day. And, you know, coming from some other places, I know that the, there's a lot of structure here and a lot of time put into the game plan and a lot of effort and from everyone, from all, all levels, lifting, everybody's in there grinding. So, um, you know, it is frustrating, but I think that, you know, with the leadership that we have from the, the top to the bottom, I think that we can get it turned around. So I'm excited about the future. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Appreciate it.